MacHeads101 here today. I'm going to be showing you some things you can do in Terminal. Now, these things are things that you may have had questions about in the past. You know, some of you have. And they involve hard drives, external hard drives, any hard drive. Like, people have had all sorts of problems with them. First of all, you may remember, realize and remember Macintosh HD and some other drives you may have are on your desktop. Normally, it's just Macintosh HD. Well, I'm going to be explaining what those actually are. Now, let's get to the bottom of this. I'm on my desktop directory, right? I type ls, right? And it comes up with these three results, these three doc, you know, directories. Right now, I can do an ls-l. D stands for directory. These are all directories. So, if we look at this, though, there are three directories here. I see programs, games, documents, untitled, and Macintosh HD. What the heck is untitled and Macintosh HD? And what are they doing on my desktop? Let's explain this. First of all, they're not actually on your desktop. You can see that. Apple wants you to believe they're on your desktop for easy access. You just double click one, like Untitled, see everything that's in it. But if we think about it, can't do that here. Now I'm going to do something very special. I'm going to type ls space slash volumes. And you know, it's just the ls command, and there's a directory called slash volumes. Right? Right here. Macintosh HD and Untitled. You know why those are there? Because that's where the drives actually get quote unquote mounted. When they're mounted, the operating system like Unix or Mac OS 10, whatever you refer to, um, will um, basically place all, every every byte stream, every drive it's mounting on the computer in slash volumes. And so those are the things in slash volumes. We can also type df-k. This is a command that displays display file system-k. That's what df-k means. Right here, we can see slash dev slash disk. This is just where it's mounted from. We don't give a crap about that. We don't, we don't care about that. But right here, under mounted on, see right here is a slash, slash dev, slash dev, slash net, slash volumes untitled. Well, let me explain. Slash is actually my file system. And that is actually Macintosh HD. You can see it's filled up 25%. That's the available bytes. So that's bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes. Or actually, that's kilobytes. So that's 157 kilobytes out of free. That's how much you used, 52 megabytes, etc. Um, on slash. So, no, this is untitled in slash volumes. You'll notice slash volume slash Macintosh HD is still not in this list. That is because Macintosh HD is really slash. Um, but it's just everything on the hard drive and not like and, and not anything else like let's say untitled. So we go to Macintosh HD. Spell Macintosh HD right. Won't wait one second. There we go. So I'm CDing to slash volume slash Macintosh HD. Right here you can see I'm gonna try to CD to slash volumes. And the stuff is still here. So now I um I'm gonna be showing you how to um basically what happens when you plug something else in. You look at my desktop right here, and I'll just move you around for the proper adjustments. I'm going to plug in my handy-dandy external hard drive. Right there, I just plugged it in. And right here comes up no name on my desktop. wonder what that is. I bet it's a directory. Let's go to my desktop. Oh, I bet it's not, actually, because I'm smart. Anyway, still see only documents, games, and programs. What the heck are we doing with this on my desktop? Plus these, but I already explained that. 
No name is another mounted drive, which is my hard drive. You can do a DF K. You can see all the mounted drives. 30% used. It's mounted on slash volume slash no name. You can even CD to volumes and then CD to no name. And then documents launch 32.exe. It's pretty simpler to documents launch 32.exe. Basically everything. So basically, DF K will show you all the mounted hard drives, free space on them, capacity they can contain anything, and LS slash volumes will show you all the things mounted in slash volumes. Most of the time, the operating system mounts drives and slash volumes. So if you're ever like on your desktop. Or something and you have a little document like say programs that you want to be in no name you don't do CP programs no name or whatever it's CP dash R whatever you don't do that instead you do programs to slash volumes slash no name because no name is actually in volumes I'm just gonna cancel that CP there see how much damage has been done to my hard drive give me one second okay so I've done that stuff with um, my directory now another thing is like, I'm going to CD to volumes you can unmount something um, this probably won't work in this case but sometimes it does you have to be root in order to unmount something, so I'm going to sudo umount. Umount mount basically stands for unmount no name. And yes, I know what you're thinking. You could do sudo umount Macintosh HD or sudo umount slash. That's going to screw you up. Don't do that. Anyway, now I'm going to try to unmount this. Now, it might say resource busy. That just means that it's basically in use. If it does say resource busy, just gonna have to take it and drag it into the little trash thing. Or right click it and click eject. Whatever you prefer. You're gonna have to use the GUI. If U mount doesn't work and you are root, then just do it through the GUI. And actually I could do dot slash no name would be a little better, but whatever. Cause now I can do an LS nothing here df dash k you see it's unmounted because I unmounted it through the GUI so um that's mountable file systems thanks for um watching I'm glad you had a good time subscribe to MacHeads youtube.com slash MacHeads101 and goodbye